Hi, I'm Heather Moore, and I'm applying for the workshop facilitator position with Prisma. And so I'm just here to tell you a little bit about myself. So I am a person that has always worked hard throughout my whole life to make a difference in the world. I've always wanted to help people, which is why out of college, I was a social worker and did that for a number of years, uh, working with foster kids, working with guardianship agencies. And I just always wanted to make a difference in people's lives, which is the thing that led me into education years later. Um, side note, I'm also a highly creative person. And so all through college, um, even up till today, 20 some years later, um, I have run my own freelance photography business. Um, and that's a business where it allows me to be creative, but also connect with people. And also photography is a skill that I've been able to uh, do a lot of philanthropy with and uh, work with a lot of agencies that are doing amazing things in the world and donate my photography time. So. Um, but it was the combination of my social work and my passion for helping people and my passion for photography that actually led me into the educational space. Um, little side note, I had always been highly interested in education because um, I always had a lot of curiosity around alternative approaches to education and always felt, um, regardless of your political beliefs, uh, that education is the great equalizer, that if we can make a difference in and create equity in our educational system nationwide, that that's the one thing that is going to make the biggest change in our country. That's my own personal belief. So that's something that really drives my uh, passion within the educational space. So um, going back, uh, bringing together that passion for helping people and my love of photography and creativity um, actually brought about an opportunity to begin teaching before I had my teaching certificate. I was able to start teaching at an alternative school in Washington state. And it was a K through 12 school. And it was alternative in that uh, students were allowed to kind of tailor make their own education. So it was a really cool school, a very interesting and alternative approach to education, which very much interests me. Um, and so that's where I kind of dipped my toe in my experience of education and ended up building up a big teaching program there where I taught photography, uh, video, and also painting and drawing. So uh, a lot of the fine arts as well. Um, after working there for a number of years, I decided that I actually wanted to go back to school and I got a what's called a CTE certificate. And that's in Washington state, it's a career technical education instructor. Um, the reason I bring that up is a lot of the things that I read in the Prisma description, um, I felt really connected with the CTE Foundation, which is teaching uh, students critical thinking skills, uh, uh, creating a relevancy within education that they can connect with and feel like they're learning this for a reason. Um, and, you know, providing them um, with the support uh, to develop skills necessary to become an, a successful adult in life. And so those are all the foundational principles that we learn as CTE instructors. Um, so I became a CTE instructor and uh, for the last six years have been teaching in high schools. Um, and specifically, I taught in a high poverty high school uh, that was very culturally diverse, absolutely loved it, got to work with a, an amazing um, group of students that had, you know, a vast array of different backgrounds. And um, I was able to teach uh, photography and leadership and marketing there. Um, so uh, I'm getting to the four minute mark and I just kind of want to touch on some of the things that you described that you're looking for. Um, because the thing that really caught my eye when I was looking at this description um, was I felt like there was a, there's a big connection in what you're looking for and the type of person and educator I am. So um, adept at facilitating discussions and encouraging kids to think for themselves. Um, that's something I'm so passionate about. And I led so many groups at the high school that I taught at um, where we had groups that discussed race and equity issues. We had groups um where we problem solved how to improve relationships between staff and students. And I, you know, am always, and you know, through these groups, a big believer in facilitating a, a student-led uh, problem solving approach where I didn't overshadow them with my opinions, but I supported them and their ability to problem solve for themselves. 
Um, so uh, again, other things that you mentioned, I'm very tech savvy, very, very tech savvy and um, very passionate. Hopefully that's coming through in the video. <laughs> um, uh, but all of these things that you listed, uh, I'm very gutsy. Uh, all these things that you listed, I feel like very much describe me and now I'm past my five minute mark, but I would love to have a, uh, an interview with you guys where we could talk more about, you know, if this would be a good fit. Um, again, it sounds like what you're doing is something that very much connects with, uh, my philosophy of education and just life in general. So hopefully I can talk to you guys more about that soon. Thanks for your time. Bye.